Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World and I tried to connect my iPad to this uh, vlog but I don't see myself on here so I don't know what I've done wrong. Nobody else seems to have a problem doing this but me. <clears throat> uh, I have a, this running on my uh, iPad but I'm not seeing any live action here so I'll just go ahead I went to Goodwill today it was tag change day at my Goodwill on Fridays and I didn't get there real early I didn't get there till almost 11 and it opens at 9 so uh, I did pick up almost a hundred dollars worth of things my receipt it was 98.41 and I got 44 items. Here's my receipt. And uh, which means I got another, I got over 100 points, so I got another 35% off coupon. So the things that aren't half off on, with the yellow tags are all 35% off. So uh, let me show you these two things that I pulled out of the bags first. Here is a little jacket by Coldwater Creek, and it's a size uh, 12 petite. <clears throat> it zips up the front, and it's sort of a tweedy, uh, little square, kind of fuzzy, and it has snaps at the cuffs. This almost fits me. The, the sleeves were just an inch longer. But <clears throat> it's nice looking. But on the cuff, when I was looking it over and snapping, I found a little split here uh, on the cuff. See where I can put my finger up here? So I think I can mend that. I'm going to just take some black thread and mend that. And I think it'll be fine. But there are the snaps on the cuffs. So that was half off. And I think the uh, blazers and j women's jackets are four and a half dollars. So that's two and a quarter. And the other thing that I pulled out, I didn't want to just be in the bag, is this soft as butter leather, black leather blazer jacket and it's by Jones of New York but I got it because it is so soft it has to be uh, I hate to think what this is it, it feels like the deer uh, skin leather on my riding pants or it could be calf leather or God forbid uh, Lambs uh, leather, lambskin. The girl mentioned something. Oh, I love this lambskin leather, and I almost put it back when she said that. But it is so soft. But it's black. It's a size medium. Uh, it's more like a blazer than a short jacket. So we'll see. See how that goes. <laughs> I'm going to keep it laying over here until I get it hung up. <clears throat> okay, I have one bag with a couple pairs of shoes in, and then I have four big bags of clothes. So I'll show you the shoes I got. <clears throat> I sure wish this was uh, broadcasting live on my uh, screen here. I got a pair of sandals uh, they're by bear traps I've had this kind before and they're cute uh, black sandals I think they're eight and a half so they don't sell they fit me too <laughs> but uh, they're really nice and in really good condition I mean they've been worn but the leather is all really nice condition. 
of those. And I got a pair of another pair of born shoes. They're just little flats. Oh, I didn't turn on my light. I have to do that. These little uh, flats, they're, uh, wait a minute, I have to turn on this light. It's the only thing that uh, makes you able to see much. Excuse me a minute. There, is that better? Anyway, here are the shoes. They're just little flats. And they're very, very soft, uh, soft leather, cute little shoes, and they are size nine, so a good size, and we'll see how they do. <clears throat> I heard that they used to be really uh, quick to sell, and they're not so, they're not such a hot item anymore, but you know, it doesn't matter to me how fast they sell, just if they sell sooner or later. And I'm just going to pull things out of the bag here as I go. Here's a little Abercrombie and Fitch, Abercrombie and Fitch, a tiny little micro mini skirt. Uh, it's a skirt, not a skirt. And all I can say is I hope they wear tights under this. Does a frayed edge, plain pockets in the back. And if I sell these, I should send a pair of tights with them. <laughs> okay. And here's another little uh, skirt. This is by American Eagle. This has a double button on the top here. This is a little too. What size is this one? <clears throat> this is a size six. But it's just a little skirt too. And then I got a, something else leather. A leather skirt. This was half price with a yellow tag here. And this is like a uh, regular pencil type skirt. Uh, and this is by Larisse. I got it because it was leather, not because of the brand, because I'm not sure what this brand is about. I have to look up, look it up. It's Larisse, and it is a size 7-8. So it's just a little... Uh, a little plain uh, straight skirt, black leather. <clears throat> this must have been the skirt bag here. This is yellow. This was, I was buying some uh, career uh, wear clothes. This is a, uh, a straight uh, skirt in a size 10 Jones wear. It's just a uh, Long, longer, straight. This is like below, let's see where this is. Like mid-calf length. Uh, this is made of all polyester, so. <clears throat> but it's lined. It still has to be dry clean, I believe. Just plain. Can be worn with any jacket. Could be worn with that uh, jacket I showed you first. Would go really well with that. I think I got two of them. <clears throat> two of them. Uh, one's a 10. Was that a 10 I said? Yeah. And one's a 12. I bet these were from the same person. <laughs> one was a t when she was a 10 and one when she was a 12. They're exactly the same skirt. So... I have two of them, different sizes. <clears throat> and here is a skirt. I thought this was a cute print. It has the laundry tag on it. 
This is by uh, Josephine Chaus, Chaus, in a size 14. It's a black, uh, cute black print. And this is a longer skirt, and it has a, uh, a big uh, pleat up here. Not a pleat, a kick. You know, a slit. Slit. So I'm not sure if that goes in the front or the back. It's probably the back. <laughs> so it's a longer skirt, too. And then, yes, the girl, this was uh, the skirt bag. This is a uh, animal print skirt. Not quite as long. This is below the knee, though. And it's by New York and Company, and it's a size large, all polyester. And it has, a, like, a stretchy waistband. I haven't gotten skirts and dresses and stuff in a while, so that was half price. Too. I really do try to get dresses. I don't know much about dresses at all. I mean, brands and things. And I try to listen to Nicole, and I get all enthused, and then I go and I can't find anything. And I found this little, uh, this little dress because I know this brand is by is Ann Taylor Loft and it's just a cute little sundress and it's just short it has sort of a uh, ruffled bottom the bottom I don't know if you can tell that there it has a like a big wide ruffle it's just a cute little dress so I knew about that brand you know the label is on here upside down i hope that doesn't matter to the people well no it's not it's well it's sideward you'd think because the see what i mean it should be turned around the sand taylor loft and it's a size large <clears throat> i got one dress at least Maybe two here. Here's another one. Uh, this is another uh, Ann Taylor Loft. Little yellow jersey dress. It has a ruffle too. And tie, like a rope tie that you can cinch in the waist. And this, this one is not upside down, but it's an extra small little dress. <clears throat> Those will look better on my mannequin. And I got this. I never buy Old Navy, but I thought this is such a good thing to have in the summertime. It's just Old Navy. It's a small. It's just a jersey, you know, stretch like uh like sweatpants almost, only they're crops, crop pants. Nice and white. No stains or spots or anything on them. I'll just put them on for, you know, maybe twelve ninety nine or something. They should uh, go pretty quick, especially if I have a sale then. 20% off sale. I'll bring them down to nine something and hopefully... I'll go right away. <laughs> and here is a pair of Tommy Hilfiger. Uh, little crop pants. In a size 8. eight. eight or Sometimes it's hard to tell a six from an eight. That's an eight, though. So <clears throat> these were in the men's department, hanging with the men's jeans. I don't know how anybody thought these were men's because they're cropped and they have this wide uh, sewn-up uh, cuff on them. 
And they have this nice leather Tommy Bahama tag on the back. <laughs> these were not half price. These were 35% off. Okay, let's go to bed. A pair of jeans, half price jeans. Uh, these are Lee Relax Fit at the Waist. They call these, uh, what do they call these? Not mother jeans. I forget the words just don't come someplace. Sometimes my sister and I were just talking about that. <clears throat> anyway, relax fit at the waist. I think these are a 10, 10 medium. <clears throat> Plain jeans. These would fit me. I like them long, but a uh, medium will fit me too. <clears throat> Mom jeans. Is that what they call them, I think? Mom jeans. When they're way up at the waist. <laughs> it's okay. <clears throat> and this is a men's Izod sweater. New with tags. It's a size extra large. It's a brown brown color. If you can't, you can't tell with this lighting. <sighs> it's brown. Oh, there you can see. It has this pattern, you know, in it. So that's a real nice buy. <coughs> Up here's another skirt. This I thought was cute. This is a little, just a little eyelet skirt. It's a cotton. Skirt by Ann Taylor Loft. I was finding a lot of Ann Taylor. But this is new with tags, too. And it had been on sale for $19.95. I didn't peel back the original price, which I will do before I put it on. Um, petites. A lot of petite women take their things to my goodwill. But that's a cute skirt. For summertime. <clears throat> I got one maternity thing. I forgot before I left. It got to be too late and I was going to go back to the maternity corner <laughs> where they have maternity things. But I forgot. And, but I did find this in the regular uh, regular rack of blouses, but it's by motherhood. You know, this light makes it almost too light. You see motherhood? Uh, it's just a little top with a uh, tie here that you can let out for your belly. This is a nice multicolor. And this is by Forever 21, Forever 21, and it's a size medium. This is a real light jersey, striped, uh, high-low, high in the front, low in the back, short sleeve top. It's all of, it's not black and white, it's olive and white. See, like my shirt. <clears throat> And this was in the women's blouses, but I believe this is a men's uh, shirt. Let me see which way this buttons. Yeah, this buttons backwards. So this is a men's shirt. <laughs> it's a pink and white striped, but uh, because of the name Thomas Dean, New York, uh, I knew pretty much that this was a men's shirt. 
just a short sleeve shirt. They have these tabs here where you can leave it hanging out, I guess, if you want. But it uh, it buttons like a men's shirt, so it's a men's shirt. It's a cotton, but it's a really nice feeling cotton. So we'll see how uh, Thomas Dean does. I think they do pretty well. And here is a uh, found a uh, blouse by Torrid, which is a really good plus size clothes. It's a blouse. It's sort of sheer, sheer material. It ties up there at the, uh, at the neck, makes a keyhole opening, but it's a wide neck and it has elastic around <clears throat> the bottom. And I think around the sleeves too. And here. Oh, I meant to look this up before I got out of the store. It's a Patagonia, but it's a men's Patagonia. I'm not sure if that does as well as women's in that brand. This is just a polo shirt. You know, it's organic cotton, though. And it's a men's extra large. And so I have to look this up. But it looked pretty clean. Uh, organic cotton they keep talking about does really well. It has the name or, uh, Patagonia on the chest there, too. <clears throat> I was thinking that was just a woman's uh, brand of clothes, but evidently it's not. Here's a pair of shorts, uh, lead casual, just a pair of beige. We uh, women's shorts in what size? In a 12 medium with pleats, one pleat, I guess. One pleat. Okay, two more bags. <clears throat> I'm so disappointed that I, uh, I know my sister's here, there's one viewer, but I'm sorry, Sue, I can't see you on my, darn, I don't understand why I can't see live uh, me. I don't know how to get live video on my iPad when I'm when I'm uh, doing this. Uh, here's a, a pretty maroon sweater with a big cowl neck by Coldwater Creek in a size medium, and it, it's uh, sort of short sleeve. It is short sleeve. Big bulky knit. I'm assuming this is cotton. <clears throat> this yarn has sort of a sparkle to it. I'm sure you can't see that, but it's, uh, you could wear this, even though it's short sleeve, you could wear it in the winter with a uh, long sleeve something underneath it. It is <clears throat> cotton and acrylic. So, you can wash it. So, this is that. Here is a, a, a sport top uh, by Fila, F I L A, Fila. Fila, Fila. In a large, 
is the bra inside. Just the bra, not a padded bra, you know, just the bra place. So you don't have to wear a bra. <clears throat> For running or whatever, active sport wear. And then this is a very open weave by Abercrombie. It has a hood. Let's see. This has a funky smell. Uh, it has it's the high low front and back. It has uh, open weave sleeves, real tight fitting sleeves, and it has a hood. I thought that was different. I'm going to have to launder this. I hope it's for cotton because I do not like the smell of this. It's I don't know what it smells like. It's not your normal Goodwill smell, which the Goodwill smell that most everything smells like, <laughs> we're talking about smells, uh, is sort of, I don't know, it doesn't bother me. It's, it's a perfumey smell to me. It smells kind of good, I think. But uh, This is part cotton and part... What? Algodon, which is, I think, another type of, oh no, in part acrylic. So I can wash this carefully on delicate and at least get that uh, smell out. It's a large uh, size 14. I thought it was really different, kind of pretty, with the different weaves. Hope I don't find a big hole in it someplace. I mean, besides the holes that are supposed to be there. But that is going to go way over there to get one. Okay. Here's another uh, Susan Graver. This is a good larger size. This is a large. This is a sheer, a sheer blouse. With are these full sleeves or three quarter, I, I don't know, but it's sheer material, and it's uh, a big long over blouse. And it has the uh, it's not bell sleeves. I don't think they call these bell. It's more of a ruffle sleeve at the wrist or at the bottom. So. And here is uh, I sure would be like to talk to people when I'm doing these. This is another Ann Taylor. Uh, this is a large. It's the top. Sort of looks like an animal print. Stretchy material. And uh, see what this is made out of. It's soft. Do people hate when I go through things to find the tags? <laughs> Sometimes I can't. It could be written right here because this is all, there's a bunch of writing here. It's just that I can't, uh, yep, there it is, cotton. And something. Cotton and oh cotton and spandex. Why that's why it's stretchy. <laughs> In a large. <clears throat> nice long sleeve, black and white top. And here is a rare sheer blouse. It's like a shirt uh, waist. Button down, button front blouse, very sheer, and it has uh, sleeves that you can turn up with those tabs. And it is by Victoria's Secret. It's in an extra large. It's a nice aqua, aqua color. I grab that.
This is Coldwater Creek in a 1X. This has, it's sort of beige and black. The sleeves are sheer. You see? Sleeves are sheer, but the rest of it isn't. And it has some uh, metallic yarns on it that makes uh, sh shiny, some shiny like paisley uh, marks on the front. There's none, none of that on the back but it's on the front. So it's a paisley print, a black and beige, and by Coldwater Creek. <clears throat> I got a lot of black and white things. I must be drawn to that, black and white. Here's a little skirt that isn't tiny little. This is a regular mini skirt by Style. Style and Company uh, has tummy control. I guess that's this tiny little panel here. It's supposed to be stomach control. But it's a little little skirt. And it has uh, little decorated detailed pockets in the back. A little denim skirt. <clears throat> I just sold a couple denim skirts. That's why I wanted to be sure to get some. And these, there were three of these. So I hope these are popular because I bought all three of them. <laughs> they weren't on sale. So 35% off of $348, I think they were. So, I mean, they're not much, but they're tops and they have a hood. And they are by somebody. <clears throat> and I saw when I bought these, I'm sure, I think they're by Columbia. Yeah, it's written on the material. You can't see it on that one so well. But there's three of them here. This one you can read real well. Uh, Columbia. Well, maybe you can't. They're by Columbia and they're large. They're all the same. They have long sleeves and they're this stretchy type uh, material. And one is this greenish color and one is like a black and white and one is this purple, purple one. You know I grabbed the purple one first because I like purple. I'm going to try these on. At least the purple one. And I will probably keep one if if they fit. They should. So I got three of those. I couldn't decide what color to get, so I just got all um, three. Uh, another Ann Taylor Loft Petite. Little black and uh, black and gray striped, and this has some draping there on the side. See, when you put it on, it'll show better on the mannequin. Some things uh, I just lay on the floor and flat lay, and other things like this one will look better, will show off better on the mannequin. So I'll put it on the mannequin. This is a small petite size. That. We're down to our last bag. <clears throat> Seems like my cart was so full but and heavy, but when I do these uh, videos, it doesn't seem like I got all that much, right? This is by Izod Golf. It's a men's pair of shorts, golfing shorts. This regular pleated beige. Bay shorts. I should get, I should buy some real bright, 
There was the brightest pair. I should have just got them for the heck of it. The biggest, I think they were like a size 50 something or 50 something, 52. They were big and they were orange and something in orange and white and, and they had silver thread stripes going through them. They sort of were real shiny in places. These were golf shorts, long golf shorts, like Bermuda shorts. I should have got them, darn it. These are a 38. They're all polyester, I saw. I should go back. I bet nobody bought them. I should go back and get them. Uh, here's a brand I never usually buy, but I know they sell them in the uh, department stores. This sells, uh, this is uh, new with tags. It sells for $40 a pair of pants. Savant, Savan. I've seen them in the stores, in the men's pants. Uh, there's the tag. Big tag uh, size. These are even Scotch Garden. Uh, 3430. This pair of uh, khaki, or that darker khaki. Pants, they have cuffs on. So, a brand new pair, I couldn't pass them up. And I couldn't pass this up either in the t-shirts. It says, hand over the chocolate and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> That's how I feel. Some days. So, If this was my size, I'd probably keep it, but it's an extra large. <laughs> extra large mims. Or just extra large. I guess t-shirts are sort of a la unisex, right? <clears throat> Here's another thing I loved. Even though it's uh, kind of silly, and it's a size 34 men's, and the maker is Sesame Street. But lucky, it's the Cookie Monster. The side. Who wouldn't love to go surfing or, you know, uh, the board surfing thing with that with Cookie Monster? Has a pocket on the side like board shorts? It is board. They are board shorts. I had to get these. I wish they were, I wish they were 32. I give them to my son. I'm going to measure these. If they measure small. He may get these for his birthday next weekend. Oh, so, see, I got those. I should have gotten those orange shorts. I swear I'm going to go back and get those just to show you. <clears throat> All right, Eddie Bauer. Men's 34. Another pair of boring beige shorts. These are double pleated, just casual shorts. These are half price. I got them. And these are a little better. Eyes odd. They at least have a little stripe in them. Uh, and shorts. These are 38, better size. Golfing shorts. Uh, here's a uh, jacket by Chaps. It's part fleece and part uh, nylon. I don't know if you can. Yeah, but if I stand up, you can see this better. It's this silky uh, nylon stuff on the top, and this wool wool type fleece on the bottom. And it zips all the way down. It's like a jacket. It is a jacket. And that black stuff is uh, 
on the back shoulders too. So this is by Chaps and it's a large men's in a brown and a black pockets there and pockets on the slit pockets on the sides. So it does have some um, something on here on the sleeve. I hopefully will get out. But <clears throat> looks like something that'll come off. And just a couple more things. Uh, this is a, uh, a sweater by Banana Republic. <clears throat> Zips. Has a quarter zipper there. And it's a navy blue, if you can't tell. It's a navy blue with uh, just some gray stripes on it. Nice long sleeves. Banana Republic size medium. This is just a medium men's. And one more thing is another, a, uh, this is a Nike, a medium a sport top with the bronze side, live strong top. And this one has those pockets in the back where you put your phone or whatever when you're running. <clears throat> in the, uh, whatever color this is, dark pink and bright yellow. So that's what I got today. Now my, uh, I have a few things left to, uh, I have about 10 things over in that barrel over there in that laundry basket right there right there that laundry basket that i have to list and then just a very few things left upstairs uh including that jacket on the door there and a couple hanging things upstairs i have to list and then i'm done with last week's things so i could continue with my shopping tomorrow I could go to the other, um, the other Goodwill in Brunswick, or I just got a um, message on my phone because I have that garage sale finder thing on my phone, and it just sent me a message. There are 35 garage sales in your area tomorrow, so I'll have to look at those and see how close they are. Because some of the ones they say in my area are a little further than I'd want to go. But I'm going to look at those and see which I'd like to do. Either go to the other Goodwill or go to some garage sales. Or just stay and uh, take care of this stuff. Get it organized, take pictures. You know, there's a lot of prepping to do before you actually list. So whatever and i have to have to try to find out how to do this there is my vlog possibly i don't know if i have to, like if i'm sure my whole name is on this one on my computer and this one it says shirley's world vlog Maybe I have two different names, but these go on to here eventually, so I don't know what's, what I'm doing wrong. I have to have somebody help me with this. It's driving me crazy. I want to talk to people on, Sue. <laughs> so, yeah, I got my hair cut. Uh, it's kind of flat right now. I went out to the barn, saw the horses, watched my daughter with her horse for a while. 
came back and found a present. Yesterday was my birthday. I don't know who I'm talking to. It's only my sister. <laughs> you know it's my birthday. Anyway, if anybody else tunes in at a later date, yesterday was my birthday. I'm 75 now, which doesn't please me a whole lot, but I mean, I'm glad I've reached this age. When I got home, there was a balloon right at my back door. There was a package and a balloon. And inside the package were a box of chocolate covered strawberries for my daughter. Something really different that she I've never gotten before. So instead of getting me my normal, you know, Starbucks card or whatever she normally gets me, uh, she got me those and surprised me. So she also bought me some candles, you know, those wax candles, thick, uh, chunky candles you get to set on a cake, like with the numbers. She got me a seven and a five, <laughs> which I'm just going to turn around. It'll be 57. So if I think if I have a cake, if I make a cake for my son's birthday next weekend, it'll be my birthday, his birthday, and Mother's Day celebration. I might put those candles on, and I'll just say 57. And we don't want to, he's not 57. That's for sure. I can't even, he's 54, maybe, 53, 52. I wish he was under 50. I did not like when my son turned 50. That was as bad as me turning 50 when I turned 50. Anyway, that's it for this haul. And if I... Uh, Ever figure out how to do this thingy here? I will uh, let you know in the next video. So I might go shopping tomorrow. I might not. So we'll see. See you next time. Bye.